here from uh, prior Montana fighting out of St. Ignatius. He's had a lot of martial arts experience. He's a, he's a stand-up fighter, John Paul, with about 17 fights under his belt. That's quite a few. He looks like a pretty tall guy, too. Yeah, he's got good. his family here and his, uh, some of his relatives and quite a few friends from the area. So he's a uh, He's ready to go. He hasn't fought for a little while, a couple months. It's been about six months since he fought. He, he fought outside the state of Montana last time, I believe. But uh, nice guy, real pleasant guy. Once again, uh, wanted to give a shout out to that VFW Post 2986 over in St. Ignatius area. Our eighth fight of the night here, brought to us by our local Army Navy. Oh, nice. They got two locations, I believe, don't they? They do. Actually, I think they got three now. They might have one in Whitefish, yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, this could be an interesting fight once again. Uh, Michael, the animal coon, who's his opponent coming up, he's doing. Uh, he's going to be a ground and pound guy. Adrian goes ahead, pretty. He's a stand-up fighter. He's doing his war dance. Looks like he's got a pretty good range on him. Got some yeah, long, he's a long, leggy guy. I've actually seen him fight before. Now, I haven't seen the animal fight, but uh, Adrian, once in a while, I've noticed his conditioning might be, uh, so we'll see how he is this right. time with conditioning. Michael, on the other hand, is a wrestler originally, and he's really worked on his stand-up. He considers himself a freestyle fighter. He trains with several different uh, folks around the area. Been training about four years. This will be his seventh MMA fight. Once again, uh, always uh, let the athletes hug up before they put the Vaseline on. <laughs> We got a great crowd tonight, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen. It's packed to the brim. Michael Kuhn out of Kalispell, another uh, local fighter here, John Paul. He's a pretty strong looking kid. Yep. This is a 170 pounder. Definitely got the range on yeah, Adrian. He's a lanky guy. All right, here we go. Crowd is into it. Crowd is definitely behind uh, Michael, their local fighter here, the animal. Very different body types here, guys. Yeah, this Big, is going to be interesting. Long-legged guy, long arm, and the guy that's a little more compact, a little more muscular. Our referee Dan DiStefano out of Bozeman, Montana, is uh, center refing uh, this match. 
170 pounders. Adrian is in the uh, black shorts and Michael is in the uh, century. Here we go, Scotty. Right away. We got Michael going for it right away. Yeah. Shoot for a double leg, big double nice leg takedown. Take down. Wow. That is gonna be the takedown of the night right there, yeah, Scott. That, that was a, a beautiful takedown. Take take Looking for his back. He is an explosive kid. Looking for his back, he is riding that bull. Yep, yep. Now, Adrian needs to get and moving and get to his feet. Adrian's he can't good job shut him off. Did a good job of defending Yeah, that, that was nice, that was nice. Oh, now he's looking for a guillotine. Now he's looking to take, oh, Michael got up. That was good. Here we go, we got a fight. Another, another double leg oh, takedown. Oh, yes. We're looking, uh, we're looking at Michael the Animal taking down Adrian now. He's got the mount. This, this is a tough situation for anybody on the bottom. Oh, those are some pretty heavy hands. Those are very heavy hands, yeah, Scotty. He's got a, but that's a tough kid. Adrian's a tough guy. Yeah, he is. He is. He's fought a lot of fights. Starting to control things a little better there. Yeah, he's he's starting to got away down a little bit. Yeah, he kind of got away from him a little bit, I'm thinking. Now, Michael, on the other hand, needs to uh, calm down a little bit and just keep the pressure. Oh, that was a big double leg takedown, though. That is the takedown of the night, maybe of the month. Yeah, that was a good takedown. So now Adrian's just kind of patiently trying to work around there, but now he's giving up his back. That's yeah. not a good idea. Danger. Danger. Doesn't really have it, though. Michael's not really, I don't know what he, he's trying to just do kind of some kind of a wrist choke. And I don't think he's got the neck at all, so no, Adrian's able to fight out of it. That was good. He needs to start bucking a little bit. Oh, yeah. he's taking some big hits. Yeah. He needs the referee's it. gonna stop the fight if this doesn't change. He's covering, but a lot of those are slipping through. Those are some big hits in the center. Yeah. There it is. Yep, referee called the fight. Uh, well, the way it works is if you're not intelligently defending yourself and you're taking punishment, your safety is more important. So Adrian, the referee, yep. Adrian not happy about that decision. No, he's, he's, probably a, he's probably a super tough guy and can take a lot of punishment, but it's up to, if you leave it like that, it's up to that center ref. Yep. Once again, uh, a lot of these guys have jobs on Monday and school and whatnot, so. And right here, you know, this, this is a replay. Not a lot of that is connecting, but, you know, Michael is throwing down some power. Yeah, and he's not really doing anything. He's just laying there getting hit. So if that's the case, the referee's got to stop the fight. I'm sure the ref said, move or get out. Move or get out. was an interesting uh, minute and a half of fighting there. Well, we got to see a really good takedown. Let's see if that's on replay here. Yeah, it was a